ready. Josh Redstone here, live from Mike Stoppelman's house. Um, what we have here is a member of the Phyllus Rebel Blueberryus, and this blueberry plant, do not be mistaken by its thin pallor and questionable vitality. Okay, introduce us to plant. Point, plant? Us, at, point us at the right spots. Right there. Dun dun dun! It's bushy. Oh, oh. And uh, walk, walk us through, walk us through, Josh. So what we have here is a plant that can be charitably, charitably, that can be called only charitably as half dead. <laughs> <laughs> this plant is bushy in the sense that it has, well, it's got like, I guess, about three branches. So what are the requirements on this plant? This plant, well, this plant needs to For growth. A, for growth, this plant needs to have a pH between 4.5 and 5.5 in the soil. As well as, during the winter, it needs to be chilled, by which I think they probably mean below freezing temperatures, for somewhere between 300 and 700 hours continuously, <laughs> in order to trigger the next season. Now, this plant will not flower each season. As a matter of fact, it alternates between one season during which it grows, and another season during which it flowers. I don't think this is its flowering season. <laughs> Furthermore... When it flowers, you're not actually allowed to let it grow blueberries. You're supposed to cut off all the blueberries, and so the plant can focus its energies on becoming bushy, <laughs> which apparently somebody was not focusing on letting the plant become bushy, and they probably picked off all the blueberries. I hate the blueberries because this plant looks like a stick. In closing. In closing, I think it's Satan's pawn and it should be burned. Oh, wait, coffee grounds. We didn't talk about the coffee grounds. Eh, never mind.